Let's get right to it. New hat. In this video, let's lay out the path if you're already in a data-related role or a shortcut role. Let's define a shortcut role first. A shortcut role makes it easier for you to move into a job as a machine learning engineer. There are very few of these. If you don't have SQL experience or programming experience, you aren't in a shortcut role. If you aren't in a shortcut role, you're starting from scratch. If you have 15 years experience as a statistician or a mechanical engineer, you aren't in a shortcut role. You're starting from scratch. If you're starting from scratch, I'll put a link to a video down below on how to become a machine learning engineer from scratch. If you're starting from scratch, this path will not help you. There are no entry level roles in machine learning. Entry level in the real world means three years of experience. Let me say it another way. You're not going to get a job as a machine learning engineer if you don't come from an existing IT role already. So what are the shortcut roles? If you're a data analyst, a data engineer, a SQL developer, a Python programmer, then you're in a shortcut role. This video is for you. I'm going to lay out what you need and the courses you'll need to take on LogicBot if you're in a shortcut role. Now, at the end of the video, if you think, that's a lot of stuff, my answer to you would be, yes, it is. Companies aren't handing out quarter mil salaries for something you can learn in a year. Let's assume you know enough SQL to get by any SQL interview. The first thing I recommend you focus on is Python. Take the Python course for machine learning engineers. Take the course doesn't mean watching it like a movie. Taking it means studying and learning it. After you have a solid foundation in Python, move on to applied statistics. Once you're skilled with SQL, Python, and applied statistics, it's on to data cleansing. This is what most machine learning engineers do most of the time. Once you understand data cleansing, take the imbalance classification course. Most real world machine learning is classification. You'll need to know how to handle imbalanced data because most of your data is going to have class imbalance. Next, you'll need to learn feature engineering. So, at this point, you'll need to take the course on feature engineering. Next, you'll need to learn modeling. So, you'll need to take the course on XGBoost. Again, almost all real-world modeling is classification and regression, and the king here are the gradient boosters, XGBoost being the number one gradient booster. Once you understand traditional models, it's on to deep learning. At this point, you'll need to take the Keras course. It will teach you how to build deep learning models. These courses are a good foundation in applied machine learning. These courses are going to help you transition to a machine learning role if you're in a shortcut role. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.